Um, flat roofs. A lot of times people don't know where to look for a lake. The most common place for a rubber roof to lake, uh, whether it's EPDM or a, a torch down, even a TPO roof, is where they make a transition to metal edging drip edge or to flashing. So drip edge around skylight, or, I mean flashing around skylight, a vent, or a chimney, or the drip edge. In this case, the drip edge. So this roof, why, why is that a problem? What happened was they torched this material, which is a torch down material, they heated it up and they tried to attach it to this metal, to the copper which doesn't work. You can see, we can just pop it loose. And a lot of places, it's loose already. I'm gonna show you, wait, here, I'll show you where the joint is. See the way Can you pull this up, Lewis? Okay. Look how wet this is, let me show you. See the roof is wet here? And the dirt, look at the dirt coming in. So that's the problem with these roofs. You cannot, you cannot torch to copper or to any metal. You have to use an adhesive and I'm going to show you how we do that. We're just going to pop this loose now and then we're going to come back and we're going to show you how, how we fix this problem. If you have a roof like this where they torch the material to the metal, then one of the things you can do is pop it loose. Like in this case, if it's a cold day, it's easy to pop loose because the cold makes the material much stiffer and harder. So the same, the same goes for... Um, flashing on the chimneys. It's the same idea. That's why it never showed the leaks. But there are there are water between the there's water between the two membranes. Okay, you can tear it up. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And we're gonna undo this as well. Yeah. Heat this up and then we'll see if you can fold it back. This is the first time I'm gonna do this. Let's see if it works. If not we're gonna do the other method. A lot of water, huh? Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. And all the dirt, all these years. Okay. So we we got the membrane folded back because I heated it up. But you see all the water. Look at it. It's been leaking a lot. Okay. We're gonna clean it out now, and then we're gonna show you how to attach this membrane properly. So this is what we use. It's called it's called um, modified adhesives. You see that? You need this on? Yeah. We're gonna heat up the membrane again. So you take this and you smear that. That's an adhesive. That's how you apply this. Uh, this is how you this, you smear this a thin layer there, and this is how you apply or attach, rather attach this material to the metal. That's the only way. No other way. So. Old job was done, was leaking a beautiful roof because they did not use adhesives. Okay, so once you do this, so Lewis, you can start there, take the trowel, membrane back. Now I heated it up to get it folded back, but I'm going to heat it up to fold it back. See how now it's, you gotta, it has to ooze out a little bit. Here. See how it was? 
Yeah, it oozes out a little bit. You have to squeeze it so that you can see the adhesive coming out a little bit, okay? Yeah. I'm going to clean mine up. Okay. That's it. You want to get yours hot? Okay, make it hot and then you can smear it. You cannot get in there. Anymore. Just a little bit and then you take it, you smooth out that part at the top there so the water doesn't sit there. Like that. You see that? Beautiful. So, one of the ways to fix the metal is um, normally you cut away and put it in the top. But I did it this way this morning. And it works perfect. Beautiful. It has to ooze out like that. See that? That's how you do it. You uh, reattach the membrane with adhesives, modified by tumen. Adhesive, another tip, how to fix the edging of a roof.